Yes, six enrichment. Okay, right. Hopefully this will help. You're going to use Microsoft Excel. We've been using that. New gives me a new sheet. Yeah, and we know where other things are. So the fill in the blanks one is uh, a fairly straightforward thing. You've got to just find out what that's called, what's this called, and I've given the dashes represent the number of letters. Might take you a bit of time, but the words are down there. <laughs> What a cheat. Okay, makes it easier. Right, now, next thing. Uh, first formula for the blues. Open that up, put your name here, put your class there, put your date here, and then put in the formula, not the data. Okay, so you put the formula in there, save it, and then you have to submit it. So that's your job sorted. Now, let's go on to the, the other people. Here's a worksheet, and it tells you what everything is doing and everything like that. So you do this one first, and then you this might write a formula that will go into there in your spreadsheet, not on this sheet, because that would be daft. And then there's a change that takes place. So you have to use what's called a snip. You remember what the snipping tool looks like? It looks like that. Whoosh, right? and you snip out your answer and then paste that directly into and then you just paste it okay so you can paste it into anywhere and you can actually if you wanted to uh, for snipping tools if you watch this I can actually cut a little bit off like that and then paste that directly back in you see so you can do lots of things by pasting says I've done that and just use your snipping tool and paste it in. Fantastic! So you've got that one, and then you've got your, your spreadsheet, which is this one. And I've actually put in your start, and I've even given you how to use the things, and, you know, a little bit of a clue. All right, all you have to do is fill in these formulas, okay? Then take a snapshot, right, when it's complete, using your snipping tool. Right, saying, ooh, that's what that looks like. And then you can paste that right in. Okay, so there's your first one. And then you can do your next one. And then you've got your next one. You might want to change the colours at the top if you wanted to. And again, there is a mark if you're able to make it into a chart. Your third one, or the reds, you've got, uh, you've got uh, the hardest task, of course. You're going to actually do an activity... Let's have a look. Here's your school fate. You'll have to open up an Excel spreadsheet. You'll have to put in this data. You'll have to read it very carefully. This is to ask what if. What if something happened? What if something changed? And using the spreadsheet model to answer those questions, those what if questions. Here's all the questions you have, and here are all the changes. So you too will have to use the snipping tool to make sure you've got everything there. And again, if you can make it into a chart, fantastic. So, what's all this chart business? Well, if you go on to teachict.com, teach video tutorials, we go on to Excel 2007, which is the same as 2010. If it's 2003, then you'll have to come to the ICT club. And there's charts and graphs. And so a column chart be good, add in the title, these things. You could a pie chart, probably better for the zoo and for the fate. The first one may be a line chart, but again, you know what you do. You just click it on and then it will tell you what you've got to do. Okay. And listen to what the lady says. She talks sense. Click on the columns that you want to include in the data. So here we're going to include months and then the income. And don't forget to use the pause button. Submitting is done through the ICT window. So all years .ho ICT. So what you'll do is you will upload your files in here in the submission box, assignment answer. Please load your files for marking below. You can write here, Mr. Tiernan, I had a great time, or I struggle on here. Or if your parents want to write something in there, it's so good to hear from them. So parents and carers, now's your opportunity to shine. 
and then at the bottom you just click on the submit. I'm looking forward to marking all your really good work, so take care.